am Dr. Shifra Kumar and I am working presently as consultant gynecologist in Vedanta Hospital, Lucknow. Janatri Foundation has taken the initiative to uh, have this Janatri Vartha in which they will have conversations regarding the cases which the gynecologist have managed. And I congratulate uh, Janatri for that. And uh, I, I very sincerely believe that uh, learning is a continuous process and uh, we learn, keep learning throughout our lives. So if you ask any gynecologist, she would have uh, anecdotal you know, stories of how she has saved babies and how and mothers of course and how uh, she might have lost some of them and it's uh, good to hear from others and inculcate those things which we did to help uh, or did not do and this will of course increase our knowledge as well so this is a case of a, of a long time back uh, in the labor room uh, when I was an assistant professor, uh, a, a lady, she was a fourth gravid of previous two norm, uh, three normal deliveries and she was wheeled in and uh, she had been told by her dai to immediately rush to the hospital because uh, the fetal heart, the baby is in danger. And uh, so I quickly examined the patient. She was. Um, she was in labor and uh, her fetal heart was dipping to well below 90 and um, I quickly did a per vaginum examination and uh, could see and, and I felt the cord there there was a uh, cord prolapse there she was three to four centimeters approximately dilated and uh, so the first thing which I did was not to touch the cord I elevated the uh, hips of the patient or the pelvis of the patient by putting in two pillows and uh, simultaneously I asked for a foley's I inserted foley's and uh, quickly rushed in 500 ml of saline so as to inflate the, uh, the bladder and uh, I, in that position only I uh, shifted her that is with the raised pelvis I shifted her onto the stretcher and quickly rushed after sending her samples into the labor room and uh, since it was morning uh, time at around nine o'clock so all the anesthetists were there and uh, so she was quickly taken and within say around half an hour we were able to do the cesarean and we saved the baby uh, the baby came out crying so the so cord prolapse is uh, is an uncommon uh, problem which can happen during labor uh, but if it happens it has very grave consequences especially for the baby because we can lose around one in ten babies would die if there's a cord collapse in labor so the best way as soon as you diagnose you should not touch the uh, cord and um, because uh, the uh, touch touching it would cause a vessel spasm and uh, elevate the head so if you if you if the patient is contracting too much so and uh, the head is coming down into the pelvis you can dislodge even the uh, head and uh, uh, raise it up so that the cord uh, does not uh, press uh, the head does not press onto the cord uh, the other thing which is well described is uh, inflating the bladder with 500 of ml of saline and uh, and quickly deliver uh, that is the best way to save the babies so thank you